This is an example of a common pathology identified in our canine patients. This is typically referred to as a vacuolar hepatopathy. In this particular image, we can see that the liver is uniformly hyperechoic. It's difficult to identify the portal vasculature. There are multiple ill-defined hypoechoic nodules as being outlined on the screen. The overall size of the liver is also enlarged as indicated by the rounded borders. Normally the liver should have a nice sharp or tapering borders. This is an example of canine Cushing's disease. This is an example of a gallbladder mucosal. Gallbladder mucoceles are a common problem being recognized more frequently, especially in our smaller and medium-sized patients. Mucosal has what we refer to as organized sludge within the lumen of the gallbladder and this characteristic finger-like projections emanating from the central portion of that gallbladder. This is often referred to as a kiwi fruit appearance as it looks similar to a kiwi fruit if you were to cut that on end. This problem typically requires the gallbladder to be removed as it may rupture resulting in bioperitonitis. Lastly we have an example of an hepatic mass this represents a uniform, enlarged portion of the liver that has lost all normal hepatic architecture. It has what's referred to as a complex echo pattern, as indicated by the hyperechoic and hypoechoic regions, as well as a small area that is anechoic within the central portion of that liver. Although not definitive, this is typical of a primary hepatocellular carcinoma.